outsiders subjugating us as they are on their way, Neil deGrasse Tyson shouts out, affirming the most confounding and unfortunate revelation made by the explorer in the previous ten years. This disclosure was something that researchers were not the slightest bit ready for. Since the explorer sent back this upsetting information from space, established researchers have been unable to rest, and everybody is strolling under a strained climate. Specialists, researchers, and architects have been mixed from their stations to battle these mysterious objects that the explorer just spotted. We don't have any idea where these unusual items are coming from or where they are going, yet what we can be sure of is that we have seen nothing like them before. What are these baffling objects that were recently found by Explorer 1? Join us today as we analyze these responses in Neil deGrasse Tyson's Explorer 1, which has identified 500 obscure objects passing by in space. For right around 50 years, Explorer 1 has been cruising through the roadways of space, investigating the profound domains that ground-based telescopes have been prohibited from seeing and uncovering revelations that leave our mouths completely open in shock. As a result of genius personalities that flow in abundance at the John Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, Explorer 1 has been the brilliant courier to the unfamiliar regions of intergalactic space. This engineering masterpiece has woken us up to the marvelous miracles that exist in our universe. In a new development, Neil deGrasse Tyson has confirmed that Explorer 1 has recognized 500 obscure objects floating calmly in space. This news came as a shock to mainstream researchers, shaking them as everybody began poring over the information gathered by Explorer 1. Something odd was brewing not too far off, and it was challenging to solve this foaming riddle that had stunned even the greatest of researchers. Since Neil deGrasse Tyson confirmed this disclosure, various interpretations have been flying in the air trying to draw a distinctive picture that makes sense of the secret. Had it been another spacecraft that communicated the kind of stupefying information that was recently communicated from space, researchers might have questioned the validity of the data. However, it is Explorer 1 we are discussing here, the space probe that has been cruising through the vast ways of space for nearly 50 years now and has surpassed our expectations. Like a patient who beat cancer, Explorer 1 has surpassed researchers' expected lifespan of three years to spend over 45 years in space, revealing history-making discoveries all the while. The most fascinating part about this famous story is that Explorer is writing this success story from an extremely far distance from Earth. The last time researchers checked, they saw that the space probe was 14.5 billion miles from our planet, dashing away in space with no sign that it would reduce its speed any time in the near future. Scientists say that the space probe has been going at a rate multiple times the distance between the Earth and the Sun each year. This is one fact that researchers have found a bit hard to swallow because normally, one would have expected the space probe's speed to have declined significantly, given the longevity of its mission in space. On closer inspection, it appears Explorer 1 is bound to be the exception with regard to this story, and it has shown evidence of this again with its most recent discoveries. It was just like any other day for researchers when Explorer 1 delivered exciting news that would stick in their memories for a long time. Explorer 1 had stumbled upon several strange objects passing by in space. This disclosure was unexpected, which explains the initial confusion among astronomers when they looked over data showing that around 500 obscure objects had appeared from nowhere in a brief moment. We went from having no knowledge of these objects to researchers breaking their brain power looking for answers to this puzzle that nature had landed on their laps. Researchers were in a fix and the blame could be traced to just one guilty party, Explorer 1. Suddenly, researchers also knew that the solution to unraveling this mystery also lay on the heavy shoulders of the space probe. At first, when news of this disclosure broke out, some researchers wondered how it was possible that it might have been a mistake. They thought that Explorer might initially be finding it and thus might be communicating erroneous information back to us. If we choose to follow this unfolding path, it seems a plausible explanation, given that Explorer 1 was launched as far back as 1977, almost 50 years of active service for humanity. One could expect that the probe's computers would have become fatigued and started to glitch, faltering in their duties and sending back low-quality data to the ground team. As appealing as this scenario sounds, Researchers have advised that we shouldn't settle there, as it would be a slap to the sacrificial spirit of the Explorer. In spite of the harsh and erratic environment of space, Explorer 1 has consistently produced insightful data about our universe. 
In opposition to the rushed assumptions of doubters, the space probe has maintained its long life due to its dual redundant computer systems. Like its twin Voyager 2, Explorer 1 came equipped with two sets of command subsystems, flight data systems, FDS, and attitude and articulation control systems, ACS. This has been the secret force behind the spacecraft's resilient fighting spirit when it comes to navigating through space and uncovering discoveries. The redundancy allowed for continuous switching between systems and the ability to activate dormant computer parts, thus preserving their life expectancy. While designing Explorer 1, the engineers on Earth devised a plan to enhance the spacecraft's efficiency. This required that the probe's instruments rely on simplified systems, as they were constrained by time requirements and power budget limitations. Electrical engineers decided that the instruments needed to be developed using simplified systems that depended on hardware logic. Hence, Explorer's computer systems contain six onboard computers organized as a distributed system, with three dual redundant pairs. Having overcome this hurdle, researchers faced the next tall order, maintaining the systems. This daunting level was conquered by devising a continuous power management plan. Here's where it gets a bit tricky. Power management involved sustaining the operational functions of Voyager's computer systems. To be honest, this is a strenuous task, given the limited power resources available on board the spacecraft. It was a case of sending a tracker into the deep wilderness to hunt wild creatures with only a handful of tools. Nevertheless, researchers found a method to get around this issue by devising several measures to monitor and optimize power usage on board the Explorer. A real example of these power management measures that specialists devised is the strategic shutdown of non-essential systems. Engineers were forced to make this tough decision and thus used a systematic approach to identify and deactivate parts or subsystems that are not critical for the spacecraft's primary mission objectives. We see evidence of this when we look at heaters associated with certain instruments that had to be turned off. These heaters were initially intended to maintain the instruments at specific temperatures for optimal performance. However, the story had to be reworked by activating them only when necessary because it greatly reduced power consumption on board the spacecraft. This reduction in the spacecraft's power use has a ripple effect. It extends the probe's lifespan. This is a win-win situation for everyone. Also, we should remember that the decision to shut down non-essential systems is not taken lightly. Such a planned action requires careful consideration of the trade-offs between power conservation and the scientific objectives of the spacecraft. Whenever such a decision was made, all hands had to be on deck. Specialists and researchers needed to come together and assess the impact of deactivating specific systems on the quality and availability of scientific data. Emotions were not running the show. It was all about the facts at hand. The team was driven by the desire to maximize power efficiency while maintaining the essential functionality of the spacecraft so it could continue to gather valuable data about our universe undisturbed. Engineers and researchers alike wanted nothing to prevent Explorer 1 when it came to uncovering the deep mysteries locked away in the secret domains of space. Mysteries that the universe has been keeping from us for years. However, specific power reduction isn't the only way that NASA specialists are keeping the Explorer afloat and functioning optimally in space. They had another secret weapon up their sleeves, which they needed to bring to the table to help the spacecraft. The specialists needed to devise power management strategies that are adapted to the ever-changing conditions of the spacecraft's environment. For example, as Explorer 1 ventures farther away from the sun, the available solar energy undergoes a decline. This is a problem, but the specialists came prepared. They compensated for this growing threat by ensuring that the spacecraft adjusted its power usage accordingly. This adaptive approach is a triumph for NASA engineers and researchers because it ensures that the available power resources are efficiently allocated to support the probe's critical tasks and data transmission back to Earth. Interestingly, the good news doesn't end here. There have been continuous technical advancements and upgrades in power management, which have allowed engineers to refine and streamline the spacecraft's power systems over the years. A close look at these improvements reveals that they involve more efficient power distribution, enhanced battery charging methods, and advancements in power regulation and control. The implementation of well-thought-out and planned power management strategies has opened an exciting door for engineers.
it has made it feasible for them to extend the operational lifespan of Explorer 1 alongside its twin Voyager 2. This is a major success for mainstream researchers and the world overall. The careful allocation and management of power resources have provided Voyager 1 with the vital strength needed to continue exploring the depths of the universe. The discovery reverberated through the hallways of scientific inquiry with seismic power. Neil deGrasse Tyson's urgent decree resonated across the globe, emphasizing ten years of meticulous investigation by Explorer 1 amid the vast realm of interstellar space. The spacecraft had inadvertently found an anomaly of significant importance. 500 confounding entities, their origins and purposes shrouded in cosmic mystery, navigating silently through the void. This unexpected encounter sparked a wave of scientific excitement and inquiry. As the data from Explorer 1 continued to pour in, the scientific community was abuzz with speculation and theories. The discovery of 500 obscure objects drifting through space challenged the conventional understanding of cosmic phenomena. Researchers began to consider a range of possibilities, from previously unknown natural phenomena to potential signs of extraterrestrial technology. The notion that these objects might represent a form of advanced propulsion or communication system from an alien civilization added a new layer of intrigue and urgency to the investigation. The object's trajectories, velocities, and even their interaction with interstellar matter were subjects of intense study. Each object appeared to have its own unique set of characteristics, defying easy classification. Some objects exhibited unusual acceleration patterns, while others seemed to interact with cosmic dust in peculiar ways. The variety in their behaviors suggested that they might not be a single class of object, but rather a collection of different phenomena or artifacts. To tackle this puzzle, scientists employed a range of sophisticated instruments and computational models. Advanced simulations were run to predict the object's future paths and potential interactions with other celestial bodies. Ground-based observatories, as well as space-based telescopes, were retasked to monitor these objects and gather additional data. The challenge lay not just in detecting these objects, but also in understanding their origins and implications for our knowledge of the universe. Astrophysicists and cosmologists, traditionally focused on distant galaxies and black holes, found themselves deeply involved in this new line of inquiry. The data provided by Explorer 1 offered unprecedented insights into the local interstellar environment. This localized focus was a departure from the norm, emphasizing the need for a broader perspective on cosmic phenomena. The collaboration between different fields of study, such as planetary science, material science, and even engineering, became crucial in piecing together the mystery. The ongoing analysis also led to discussions about the potential implications of these findings. If some of these objects were indeed artificial, it would raise profound questions about the nature of intelligent life and its reach within the galaxy. Such a discovery could have implications for future space exploration, international space policy, and even philosophical and existential considerations about humanity's place in the cosmos. The process of narrowing down the possible explanations for these objects involved rigorous peer review and debate. The scientific method demands that theories be tested and validated, and the research community took this responsibility seriously. As hypotheses were proposed and tested, new data was continually integrated into the models, refining our understanding of these enigmatic objects. The excitement surrounding the discovery was not confined to academia. The general public, too, was captivated by the idea of encountering unknown entities in space. Media coverage of the findings sparked widespread interest and speculation. Documentaries, articles, and public lectures brought the story of Explorer 1 and its mysterious discoveries to a broader audience. The sense of wonder and curiosity was palpable, with many people following the developments closely and engaging in discussions about the potential ramifications of these findings. Educational institutions saw an increase in interest in space science and astronomy as a result of this discovery. Schools and universities used the findings as a case study in scientific investigation, teaching students about the methods and challenges of space exploration. The discovery also inspired a new generation of aspiring scientists and engineers, eager to contribute to the ongoing quest to understand our universe. As the investigation into the 500 objects continued, 
researchers also began to consider the long-term implications for space missions. The information gleaned from Explorer 1's observations could inform future spacecraft designs and missions. Understanding the nature of these objects and their interactions with space environments could help in developing better strategies for navigating and studying space. International collaborations became increasingly important as the scope of the investigation expanded. Space agencies and research institutions from around the world joined forces to analyze the data and share insights. This cooperative effort highlighted the global nature of space exploration and the collective desire to unlock the secrets of the universe. In parallel with these efforts, the development of new technologies and methodologies for space observation and data analysis progressed. Advances in artificial intelligence and machine learning were leveraged to process the vast amounts of data generated by Explorer 1. These technologies helped identify patterns and anomalies that might otherwise have been missed, providing deeper insights into the nature of the objects discovered. The exploration of these mysterious objects also spurred interest in the broader field of interstellar medium studies. Researchers began to investigate how these objects interacted with the diffuse gas and dust that permeates space. This research could provide valuable information about the formation and evolution of such objects and their role in the broader cosmic landscape. The enthusiasm for uncovering the truth behind these 500 objects reflects a broader human quest for knowledge and discovery. The drive to explore the unknown and expand our understanding of the universe is a fundamental aspect of human nature. As scientists and researchers continue to investigate the implications of these findings, the story of Explorer 1 stands as a testament to the enduring spirit of exploration and the quest for knowledge that defines humanity's journey into the cosmos.